Hi guys, welcome back, thanks for watching. Today I'll be showing you how to automate Minecraft Potion Brewing in Red Power 2. You might remember my laboratory over here. And I'll be showing you how to set up some Red Power machinery to automate the brewing process in Minecraft. That's pretty simple actually. Um, the first thing you need is of course a brewing stand. I won't be showing how to make this, I am assuming you know all this. This is the basic thing we need for pretty much uh, all the... Well, for every potion you want to make. And I'll be demonstrating how to um, automate the process. Okay, I think I made that clear. Now, the first thing we need is um, so, some glass bottles. That's also a nice um, setup for the project table. New feature of Red Power 2. I, I'm not quite sure if I ever mentioned that. But whatever, you can just make some uh, water bottles in any pool of water. And the first thing you need to do is add those to the brewing stand and add the first ingredient. I'll be doing a splash potion of harming because that's the only recipe I've ever been using except for the fire resistance potions, but whatever. It's the only recipe I know uh, uh, from the top of my head. So I'll be doing fire resistant, uh, no, uh, uh, splash potion of harming. So what we are going to do is set up an area like that. This is all the all the space we're going to need. We need a little more vertical space too, but that's the basic setup we're going to use. So we want to have a timer and a lever to turn the timer off about here. Let's put that down already. And I'll just be doing um, the potion because we want to have one um, already finished potion to uh, fill to set up a filter. I'll be showing uh, how to do that. So basically, the potions will be generated here. We'll be setting up a filter over here, and this filter we will put one of the finished potions into the filter, and then this filter will uh, suck the finished potions over uh, out to this side and put them into this chest. In this chest we'll be storing our finished potions and let's just put down another chest uh, over here to store the ingredients like this. So um, those blocks were just temporary so I could place the chest. So um, yeah now we want to let me just get that. So we want to add a sorting machine. That's the main component that will automate the process. So you set it up that it will be facing with the large hole towards that chest over here. And into this chest you'll be putting your ingredients, for example, the water bottles and some of the other stuff. So now we have potion of harming and I think one more gunpowder and we'll have the potion I wanted to make. So, um, what we did here was to add three bottles of water, like this. First one is water, second one is water, third one is water. And then we wanted to add a nether ward, a spider eye, and a fermented spider eye, and finally gunpowder. And this will give us this fine splash potion of harming. So one of those will go into the filter, and the rest can also can already be stored in the output chest like this. So what we are going to do is first we will just set up some wiring like this. So the timer can be set to about 10 seconds is okay. So whenever the timer pulses, it will 
try to get the finished potions out of the brewing stand and supply another ingredient from the sorting machine. So now we're going to use some of those regular tubes and run them like so. It's a very simple setup. All you need to do is connect three pieces of tube and I just forgot my brushes but that's not a problem. I think I have some left over here. Let's take the white and the orange one because um, well, those are the first colors in the sorting machine so I don't have to click that much. So you color those pieces of tubes over here, this one and that one in any color you like, they just uh, have to be different, that's all. So now, the basic brewing process goes like this. First, you have to put three bottles of water in, and those go in through the side from the orange tubes. So we just set up the sorting machine to show orange for the, th the first three slots and those will be filled with water bottles. So the first three ticks of that timer the water bottle will be delivered through the orange tube and the orange tube or any side will be delivered into those three slots. And then after that the first thing we want to deliver is the, the nether wart. So it goes to the white slot pretty much all the other go into the white slots and that's the basic setup that's all we need so we have to connect some power to the sorting machine electricity or it will uh, not be able to operate luckily I have a lot of energy stored over here so just connect some power you can hook up a battery box and uh, just put some charged batteries in there and this will last you pretty much forever. Um, in all the setups I did a single battery uh, I wasn't able to well discharge a single one so this will work. You can leave it at the first node so you have the sliding window and it will select um, well any of the slots so you can also use this mode in uh, this configuration this doesn't matter. So that's what we're going to use and we'll be setting up the timer for 10 seconds and that's the whole thing. You can just use this lever to turn it on. The timer will give a pulse every 10 seconds and as I said the first one will be delivering water bottle into the bottom slot of the brewing stand. The next tick will also deliver a water bottle and it will also go in the lower section. And the third tick will deliver the last water bottle and you can see the sliding window is now uh, set up for the white tube and so we'll be delivering the first ingredient through the white tube into this top slot over here. Ah, okay, um, I should put the ingredients in the chest so it can actually get something, but um, that's no problem. If it's empty it will just stay at the um, point where it last uh, succeeded in retrieving the appropriate item. So if either this chest is full and um, so the brewing stand can't uh, do anything anymore or if you running out of ingredients the thing will simply shut down and not operate until you either remove some of the finished potions from this chest or refill your ingredients over here. So that's very easy, very robust and um, well actually very easy to set up if you know what I mean. So as you can see it added first the 
nether board, then the spider eye, and now it's doing the fermented spider eye. And when that's done, we'll be receiving gunpowder, and this will finish the potion I wanted to do. See, there comes the gunpowder, and well, after that, we're done, and the cycle will restart. and will deliver the new water bottles. So when the splash potions are done like this, on the next tick of the timer, the first one will be emptied and a water bottle will replace this one. And again for the second and third, and after that, the new ingredients will come from the top. There we go. First ingredient will be coming on the next tick. And as you can see, the finished potions are already in this chest over here. So, and this thing will cook up your potions as if it was meant to do so. So, I hope you liked that, and thanks for watching.